Well, I didn't expect to be a robot. <laughs> I am not going to lie. I don't know why two and two didn't get put together then, but I definitely didn't know I was a, a robot. Oh, Mr. Sharky. Mr. Sharky. You're in a bad way, dude. Let me fix you. I can heal you. Don't worry, I can heal you. I think. Oh, Mr. Sharky died. So maybe he was trying to help us after all then. We need to try and get this place fixed. Because man, there is some some weird things going on in this ocean. So yeah, we're obviously we're obviously all sort of one like race or not really race, but we're obviously all from one type of um I don't know, species? We're all robots. We're all trying to fix the ocean. Um, and I'm guessing the, uh, the little triangle robot things is what made us, or what can make us, because obviously they were pumping out um, the little bumblebee machines. Um, but yeah, obviously one of them's got corrupt, so... And it's controlling and destroying the ocean, which we need to try and solve. Are we actually going to go out of the ocean here? Well... This is just turned a bit weird. We're not swimming anymore. This was a swimming game. This is the first time I've been on land. Normally it's... Oh, can we help you out? It's just, just chilling on the floor. I mean, it's so weird. It's like... It's like being... It's so... It's like the opposite way around. It's like normally you hardly ever go in the water in a game. But like now, because I've never been on land, this feels weird. When it shouldn't do. Let's interact with this and see what's happening. Woo. It's a big sort of town civilization. Let's go. Have we got any stairs or we just dive in? Dive in! Whee! Must be so cool being a robot, being able to just survive, like, in any sort of environment, on land, in the ocean, for however long you want. No care in the world! Right, let's try and explore this then and see what's... Where should we go first? Okay, I'm gonna head down here because there seems to be something to um, unlock, so let's go do this. I'm not even gonna try and say what that says. <laughs> but yeah, where should we go now? Man, this place must have been massive. Right, there's another place here. Wait, what's this up here? Okay, I'm guessing that there's a lot of these chains we need, chains we need to try and um, Try and move again because there'll be a door somewhere, I'm guessing. Right at the end. Yeah, there we go. There's two really big doors. So that's the first one. I think the other one's on our left. So we'll go do that quickly. Uh, there was a thing below us uh, where we can try and release some some more creatures. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that. There we go. It's just here. So what are these gonna be? These are gonna these are the heli copper copperion. I've never even heard of them before. I was doing so well with my um, my marine knowledge <laughs> until we got further on in the game, and then there was just loads of stuff that was I have never even heard of before. But yeah, where is this other sort of? Uh, is it here? Is this where it is? Is it in here? Ah, there it is. I don't know how we get to it though, because all these sides seem to be. Can we go up? We're gonna have to go like on land again. Can we? Can we go on land again? It's just added, like, another dynamic to the game, being able to go on land. It's so cool. Pressing that button has enabled the doors to open, so we can do the final chain and uh, and get through to the next area. So, can we run on land? No, we can't. Can we do backflips? No, we can't. <laughs> let's, let's dive back in. Whee! And let's go and uh, move this chain so we can get this... Yeah, we can get this going. Here we go. The strength. The strength. I know we've been missing a lot of uh, monuments that we can basically, like, meditate on, but I really just want to get to the storyline. As I said, this game is as far and as diverse as you want it to be if you want to go and explore more areas, but I just really, I'm just really intrigued with the storyline, and I really want to get to it uh, and see what's actually happening. So, yeah, let's go move through to this next area uh, and see what's there. 
We have a lovely fountain. Yes, I remember playing in this as I was a kid. Yeah, this this used to be my bedroom, this whole place. Really epic, really pretty good. There was my uh, sea turtle friend. How you doing, Mr. Sea Turtle? But uh, let's go and interact with this little area here. Here we go. If we can, I think it's where we need to be. Yeah, there we go. This should bring... I don't know what it's going to do, actually. Ah, yeah, that, that was the uh, that was the way that I had to get into the dining room when I was a kid. I had to um, swim up here. It was a nightmare, because I used to have a lot of brothers and sisters, so we all used to run at once up this tunnel. We all, we all used to get stuck. Not very good, but, <laughs> yeah, let's... Let's carry on going. We need to go on land, so... Let's swim over to the corners, pull ourselves up, and then, of course, see where we need to actually go from here. So, yeah, as I said, this was the this was the long sort of corridor to get to the dining room when Mum used to shout us to get some food. Look at this place. It's so big. It is, it's so huge. Look, there's even a rainbow. This is ridiculous. Do we just dive? We can't get through. We need to get over to that other side, I'm guessing. Um... So I'm guessing we just dive. Let's just dive in. Whee! <laughs> it's like Assassin's Creed when you have to dive into the hair bales from like the big waypoints. That's what it reminds me of. Man, this is a crazy time. Whoa, what are you? What big eyes you have, sir. Do we need to interact with this? No? Okay. This looks... It just looks so beautiful. We've got a load of statues over here. We're gonna go and activate the thing in the middle. We've got... Actually, we've got this thing to, to unlock down here, so we're gonna do this very quickly to get some new life into the ocean. So let's do this. This is a Dunkleosters. Wow, they are crazy. They look, so, they look very, like, I don't know, ancient. But yeah, let's go to this bit over here and uh, activate the little thing in the middle so we can carry on with the storyline and... Uh, yeah, and see what this is all about. Again, we're flowing life back into this place. Whoa, is that? They're like plesiosauruses or something. Are they plesiosaurs? Can we grab one? Are they plesiosaurs? Elamasosaur. They must be like from the plesiosaur family with the really long neck. Man, they are so cool. I can remember when I was in, when I played Ark, like I had a plesiosaur and that was like my favorite dinosaur ever. They're just so majestic. Look at them. They are so cool! Love them! So these are like the ancient sea creatures. Oh man. These are amazing. I love them so much. They are so cool. Right, anyway, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop um, getting excited over sea creatures. Let's go see. Whoa! Let's go see what we have to do now. So we've done that little bit there. Um, that is being enabled. We need to fly. I'm gonna say fly around. Swim around a little bit more. Uh, and see what else we need to actually do. I don't really know. But we will find out. I mean, there's another fountain at this side, so I'm guessing we need to go and swim over here. But if there's any more, like, dinosaur sea creatures, then I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> I really love the Merseosaur. So if there's one of them, then I will be literally screaming. Be like, ah, it's a Merseosaur! Let's go see what happens when we give life back to this fountain. I'm hoping there's gonna the water that's gonna flow from the top and then the door's gonna open. That's what I'm guessing. There we go. What a genius, what a genius I am, what a genius. There, yeah, we've, we've got life back into it. And this is gonna go to the big door, I'm guessing, and then open up. Yeah, there we go. Open sesame. Man, I mean, even if, even if you're not really interested in the storyline of this game, just the the graphics and the beauty and, like, the music. It's just everything. Like, this is just such a relaxing game to play. But, yeah, let's go in here. We need to activate this thing, I'm guessing. And then it's going to put new life back into this area. And we're going to go and swim to the top of here. I mean, this was a, this was a long route back to the, the dining room, as I said. It was to set me and my brother's ear just to get to get to um, the dining room to have some breakfast. But let's go to the top of here. Whee! Ah, yep, this is the dining room. This is where we used to eat. The big dining room. We did it, guys. We finished the game. We got to the dining room. So what are we doing here, then? 
<laughs> there's the grand sea snail in the middle. So yeah, as I said before, we're pouring life back into the oceans. I guess we were like friends with the sharks. Either that or we were eating them because we're holding them right now. And there's a fly buzzing around my face. You're ruining the moment, fly! One more thing to interact with here. So let's do this. Oh, there's birds! Hello, my people! Welcome to Abzu! I'm, I'm guessing that this was like the king's temple, the king's palace, because it obviously looks all over the land and stuff. There's birds here. Still doesn't feel like we're outside. It still feels, it feels like we're in like a massive cave or something, but let's go walk along here. And uh, yeah, see where we need to go next. I mean, this definitely was the palace. Look at it. Look how like epic it is and grand it is. It's just amazing. I think we're going to dive into the the castle walls right now. Because as you can see, this is like the fort. But yeah. So cool. Let's go dive in. Let's go and dive in and, and see what we need to do next. So, whoa, Sploosh. Oh, we got some fast music. So yeah, the castle walls. There's some current. Do we need to fly through the fishes again? Whee! Yeah, we do. Come with me, my friends. We're off to Narnia. <laughs> I hope I'm not ruining the game, by the way. <laughs> Ridiculous commentary. Oh, this is epic. Up the grand staircases. Here we go. Collect these buddies. And into the garden. Are these things ichthyosaurs? To my left? I don't know what they are. This is why I should meditate more. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. This is so cool. All right, let's get these guys. And up here. Let's carry on swimming. Whoa. This is like the best way to see the town, is obviously to swim through it. Up the main corridor! I'm coming for tea, mummy! Wait for me! Oh. Whoa. This is one crazy room! This is where the bathroom is. This is where you like... Because obviously my dad who lived here was like massive. So this is his toilet. He used to poop through there. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for ruining this game. <laughs> you didn't think it was possible for me to ruin a game. But I have done. I just can't be serious, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Alright, what do we need to do now, anyway? Can we get through here? I just want to ride on these things. Can I grab one of these suckers? Are they ichthyosaurs? They are! They're ichthyosaurs! I, I named it, didn't I, guys? I named it. I said they'd be ichthyosaurs. Awesome. Hello, my friends. Right, so what we need to do, I think, guys, is we need to try and get through this thing here. But... There is chains that run up, 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 up here. And where do they lead? Okay, they lead to here. So this is what we need to try and uh, and remove so we can get through the big toilet and uh, complete our goal, our destiny, to have a big poo. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Let's go to this one over here. Come on, ichthyosaurs. I love the ichthyosaurs. They're so peaceful. And then this last one, and then we should be able to go through. We still, it's been a bit of a weird contrast, because right at the start of the video, we had, um, obviously, like, everything going wrong. A little bit of sadness with the shark dying. We had the, the bad Doritos. Uh, and then now, we've come to kind of, like, our a civilization. Our civilization. And there's so much life that we're bringing back into this place. And then this looks like it travels us to the... The Whirlpool Universe, so we can put our goo back in. Here we go! We're at the center of everything, guys. Let's go and do this. Hey! 
Hey, Mr. Sharky, how you doing? I thought you was the bad guy, but you seem to be all right, which is good. But he's back in the place where he belongs, swimming about, all happy and stuff. Oh, look, I'm repaired. Yay! Thanks, buddy. Come on, shark, let's go and swim back in and get these guys. Let's go get them, boys. Let's go save our world. Is that what we're doing now? Ah, don't go to the light. Wow. Don't eat me! <laughs> oh man, this is beautiful. Me and my shark friend. Ah oh, yes, this is what we should have been like at the start, bro. We should have been one. We could have conquered the world. Woo! Can we do a backflip? Nope. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go and get these bad Doritos, dude. Come on, let's do this. You know it makes sense, buddy. Yeah, let's go smash these evil things that corrupt in our world. Onto the next one. Me and you, my friend, we can do it together. No, come back. I miss you. So hard to control, though, on this great white. Hua! There we go! We've got rid of all the corrupting badness with our buddy the shark. Look, he's so happy! Oh man, this is so beautiful. Right, come on buddy, we've got new areas to go and do, so let's go quickly. Up here. You do not need to fear me, fishies! I am the friendly great white, I'm the vegetarian one. <laughs> if there ever was. Not. Right, let's go get these guys. So I'm guessing there's four areas that we've got to help out, because that's obviously the four areas that we swam in. Um, and these are the four corrupt areas, so let's go. And smash this. And finally smash this one. There we go. And then this one should be the... Is it the... The, uh, the killer whales? Yeah, there we go. So we've got two more areas, which I believe is the uh, Krakens... And I think the other one was a... Was this the one a whale? Was it cracking and something else? Can't really remember. Man, this shark's amazing. Can we go up to the surface? I really want to see what's up there. I'm just stuck in a current right about now. Here we go. Here's the next area. Take that, Doritos! You corrupted my world. You killed my bumblebees. How dare you. This shark's like a guardian angel. Oh, look at the night sky as well. Oh, man. We've got one more, guys. Through this bit. Let's go do it. Let's go and do a backflip as well. Whoa! Man. This is so cool. I'm so glad that the, the shark wasn't an evil dude, after all. I didn't think he would be. He had a good heart. Oh, there's one out of the war as well that we've got to get. Smash this. Smash into these ones. Here we go. We've got one above the water. Can we get it? Oh, it's just out of reach. So wait, we'll get these ones on the on the under the water first, and then we'll go for that last one. For the final corrupt Dorito. We've called it all let's play. We call them Doritos at all Let's Play, so we're going to call them Doritos now. Here we go. Swim up! I missed! No! We're going to have to go back around. Here we go, squid. Ooh. Yes! There we go! The final one. Bring the Krakens back into this world. There we go. And we've done it, guys. Our job here is done. Come on, Mr. Shark here, let's finish this game. We have saved the sea. We have got rid of the evil Doritos. 
Wow! <laughs> that is so cool. Oh man. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. We've got one big sucker left to kill. Look at the whales come out of the water. Look at all the fishes as well. These are all the ones that we've saved throughout the game. <laughs> oh man. I just could swim around like this forever. Right, I'm going to watch this whale. This whale's going to go for a big splosh. Ready? Is he going to go for it? Or is he just chilling? I think he's just chilling, guys. Oh, there's one there. Wow! <laughs> Alright, okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Ami, we can do it! We can save the seas. Me and my friend, the shark. Okay, sharky, bro. I think I'm going to have to leave you here, mate. I don't think you can actually fit through here. There we go. The fishers are still coming with me. They really want to help me out here. Oh, so is the shark. Yes, we can smash through them all. It doesn't affect me anymore. Let's smash them all. <laughs> yes. The final one, mate. Let's do this together. Yes. We did it, my friend. We did it together. And everything was restored. Everything's greening back up. All the metal is covered. Everything's beautiful again. Just like it should be. Is the light going to switch off? I hope so. Yeah, there we go. The light's off. Won't be able to corrupt us anymore. And me and Mr. Sharky succeeded. And that's it, guys. That is the end of Abzu, created by Giant Squid. Man, what a game. That was really good. That was a really, really good game. That was awesome. I enjoyed that so, so, so much. We can look. We can still swim around in the credits. Ready? Backflip. <laughs> still, still swim around. Oh, there's a seahorse as well. Nice. Woo! So cool. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, guys. Um, the last part is a little bit longer than the rest. Just because I wanted to finish it. I mean, all the rest of the episodes have been like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. But I really just wanted to finish it. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my little Let's Play. Why is there a thing at the bottom of the ocean that still wants me to get to it? Okay, one minute. I can get my control. I just threw it on the ground. Okay, I'm back. Don't worry. All right, we've got something on the ground. That it still wants me to do. Even when the game's finished, it's still not finished. Can we get to it? This is going to be hard because I can't even... Here we go. There we go. <laughs> Managed to do it. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, hopefully you did enjoy. Um, I don't really know what else the game is to play with this. Because it's the first kind of Let's Play game that I've done on Squiddy Play. So I don't know how, how well it's gone down. I'm probably going to be going back to stupid VR games. But... Yeah, amazing game. It just shows what you can do without narration. Like, there was no speaking in that game at all. No voice actors. Just basically portraying a story through images and music and everything like that. So, it's been a really awesome game. I really enjoyed it. So good. But, yeah, that's it for me today, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Uh, and I'll be back with another video pretty soon on Screen Play. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, 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 bye.